Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this other tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to move a website from the local host environment to a live server. By a live server, I mean anywhere you want to host your website. So, to start off, I'm using MAMP as my local host application. I've designed this website, it's in WordPress, and I want to move it to a live server. Two things you have to have. One is already a hosted website on a live server uh, with a domain and having WordPress installed. So apparently this is how this domain looks like. Uh, this website is basically empty with a default WordPress theme. And what we are going to do is we are going to move this website, which is on our local host environment that we have finished working on, and we are going to move it to this website where we want to be hosted and be accessed by people so what we need to do we go to our local host environment we look up for plugins add new plugin under add new plugin we just search for a, small, a plugin called WP Vivid so there are other there are many other migration and uh, site restoration uh, plugins like WP migration like all-in-one backup plugin but I mean I prefer this plugin because uh, it's light simple and free and most of the premium features that are in other plugins this plugin gives them to you for free so that's why I prefer to use it it's pretty uh, a nice tool and uh, it's something you guys can always check out so we install the plugin one of the other cool features about this plugin you can do site to site migrations in other words you may have a live site somewhere but you want to transfer it to another live server so you, you can also do it with this plugin that's what also makes it really outstanding once we have our plugin installed and activated we will basically have to back up the website uh, download the backup upload it to the live server we get our website hosted on the live server so now we're activating the plugin cool so we have now our plugin installed on our local host environment so what we need to do at the moment we need to create a backup of this entire website that we have developed on our local host environment and to backup that website using this plugin you just select this option very simple tool no technicalities involved so you just need to say backup and uh, once we back up this website, the entire website, it will take just a few minutes. It also depends on the size of the website files. So we can wait for a few more seconds and we get our website backed up. Cool, it looks like our backup, uh, it looks like our backup has finished. And now what we just need to do is scroll down still on the same page and we look up for our backup that has been made by this plugin what we need to do is now to download that backup once the backup download is done we just move over to our live website head to plugins and then add new plugin and we just add that same plugin WP Vivid install activate scroll down here to upload then we can say select files then head over to our downloaded files and we look up for the file that we just downloaded for of our backup so this is the file which is just one minute ago then I upload that file the backup file to our live server so it actually took me about one hour to upload this file to the server Probably my internet was slow or something like that or the file was too large but I was thinking for a 150 MB file it would take you know not up to one hour or something like that. Now we are here, the upload is done, we just need to do it at the moment is just to restore. Now when we restore our website, digital creative design is going to change everything here including the files here, the home. And the URLs that are coming from the from the local host environment will change to this URL. We don't have to do anything like searching and replacing the URLs. We won't have anything to break. So that's the beauty also with the WP Vivid plugin. The other thing is that also the logins that are from the local host environment will replace the logins of this uh, the logins 
of this website that is live. So since we are going to replace the database and every other files, hit restore and it will ask us if we want to continue. So we just continue. And like here they say the plugin detects automatically either site restoration or migration. At the moment it's migrating the website from the backup which we got from our localhost environment. This is what I told you that once we have migrated our website, it log us out and we have to log in back again. Before I even log in, let me just show you how now it looks like. And boom, this is the beauty of this plugin. We have moved our website just in a few clicks to a live server and without having to change anything. All the URLs are working so well, just as it was in the local development environment, which is here. Let's just try now to uh, log in. So to log in, we have to use the login credentials that, are, that we were using on the local host environment. So to be able to log into the uh, live site that we have migrated from the local host environment, we will use the login credentials we are using uh, when our website was still on the local host environment. So now we log in. Welcome back again, guys. And this is our backup that we managed to uh, restore our website from. And already our website has been restored. Everything is working so fine. The URLs are working well. You know, it is just as it was at the local host environment. So guys, that's how you move your website from a local host environment to a live server. Let me know in the comment box below if you have any issues or if this tutorial brought you value and that now you can move your websites from the local host environment to uh, the live server. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Thank you so much and see you in my next video.